pretty uncomfortable here this afternoon across much of central Iowa. As we look from our SkyCam network showing the skies have finally cleared out. We had a lot of cloud cover early on, which did us a favor, actually kept our temperatures down a couple of degrees, but with the very high humidity in place, that is still leading us to some pretty oppressive heat indices this afternoon. Currently sitting at 92 in Des Moines under partly cloudy skies, a southeast wind at 10 miles per hour. Look at the dew point, 77 with relative humidity at 62%, and that is giving us some very uncomfortable heat indices. And it's a slow drop off this evening. We'll only be down into the mid 80s by 11 p.m. And you can see those heat indices are still be in the 90s after the sun goes down. So that's why this is a big problem right now. No relief at night and the excessive heat warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. Wednesday for pretty much all of central Iowa. And there's there's a possibility that this could be extended into Thursday here as well. The large pattern right now shows this impressive heat dome here. This area of high pressure that's still centered over central Iowa. This thing is peaked at intensity today with heat warnings extending from central Texas all the way into the Ohio River Valley and up in the parts of Minnesota. Minnesota. So we anticipate this high to remain pretty much in place through the next 24 to 48 hours before we start to see it shift off to the southwest. That will eventually allow for a weak cold front to come in Thursday into Friday and bring us some cooler temperatures. But we still have to get through the next couple of days, and I think the hottest temperatures of this heat wave are still to come. Overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 70s, warmer than where we were this morning and then tomorrow afternoon. Many of us in the upper 90s, some of us may touch 100. We're going to be pretty close to a record high here in Des Moines. Wednesday, that's when things really heat up. You note the wind direction starts to shift to the southwest. That'll actually help to dry out the air a little bit. And so our air temperatures will likely spike into the triple digits going into Wednesday. Heat indices tomorrow afternoon even more dangerous than they were today. Many locations at 110 to 115 degrees. Wednesday, once again, seeing those same issues once again with those heat indices up near 110. Again, we're going to be watching Tuesday and Wednesday for possible record highs here. It's going to be a close call tomorrow. Wednesday may be a little more likely as we approach triple digits and triple digits still anticipated going into Thursday before a cool down. And then again, record warm lows are also a big factor here uh, with this upcoming heat wave as temperatures will struggle to fall into the mid to upper 70s and low 80s at night. Now here comes the cold front coming in Thursday night and a Friday with a chance of thunderstorms. Eventually that will bring back some cooler weather highs more seasonable going into this upcoming weekend with highs in the 80s and overnight lows in the 60s.